I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Lloyd, Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn. All of the Barbies is bad. It girls. <clears throat> I haven't spoken all day. So it's my very first day and I'm sitting here because um, a, a pipe burst and something flooded. So we have to do our first, my first two classes today from Zoom. Um, tomorrow, one of my classes is in like a whole different building. So we're actually gonna go to that. But yeah, today I'm just gonna be at home. Uh, we're getting ready to start soon so yeah I'm super excited um, I'm mostly I think I'm very nervous though like I just don't know like what to expect but yeah we're just here on zoom gonna get ready to go um, I'm happy I don't have to leave my house because both my classes are on zoom today and I don't have work but I don't know it's just a different vibe when you're um when you're at school and you can like just see your classmates so yeah but ugh. I don't know if they're gonna have me turn on my camera I see some other people have theirs on but yeah we finna start so I'm gonna update y'all it's a couple students who said this it's not just one person but I just bought myself a cheap dry erase board and then I just, then I'm not wasting paper. Like I can write something out and be like, Lee, and I avoided the harder stuff that challenged me. Um, don't make that mistake. You clearly need more time with what you find more difficult. So don't avoid it. It's a classic strategy. We all, all right, y'all, she gave us a little five minute break. But um, so far we've been going over the syllabus. We've been going over like study tips. Oh, this is somebody texting me. But yeah, we've been going over study tips. We've been going over what's helpful. We've been going over resources. So they're really trying to make sure we um, understand stuff and get through stuff. But yeah, I only got like one more minute, y'all. I just went downstairs to heat up this little breakfast sandwich. Got some little grapes. A granola bar. These are my dad's. I don't know if I said this in the last video or not, but I've been recognizing a lot of people from my prereqs. So yeah, hopefully I get to know them better or whatever. All right, I'm back. I have my little idea. We only gotta wear them for clinicals, but I just threw it on. So yeah, we finna get started on some content now.
assignments due before school even started so they were due yesterday um, we had to do some ATI assignments online um, so we had to take like a pretest then we had to like do a lesson so there were like videos and stuff to read and then we took then after that we take a post test um, the first one took like the HIPAA one took like an hour the second one took like 30 minutes um, the second one was on infection control and that type of stuff um i guess it's just something we have to do before clinicals but this class patho farm um we mostly just went through the syllabus of course but we did start some content um we're learning about cell regulation cell growth and function um this first part of my notes were just like some terms that we're going to use so yeah and they did give us like a list of healthcare terms that we should know they gave it to us last semester so that we can like start practicing and learning stuff most of the terms on there i already know just from being interested in healthcare but some things are new to me so we are gonna have like a little quiz on the terms but they're only like two percent of our grade a lot of things i've noticed are gonna be based on the exams so um I think they said like 85% of our grade for this class is going to be on exam. So that's kind of just like the big thing I'm going to be having to focus on. So yeah, my next class is at one. That one's online too. Because of the flooding. But yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to think like, I got some other stuff I could do. Like I need to call some people. Um, I got some other personal stuff I could do. I'm probably finna sit down for a minute and then do that and then I'll be back for my second slash last class of the day. Hey y'all. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm back. This little twist bothering me y'all. But, um, so yeah, I have my uh, 1 p.m. class. It's going to be, look at it, it's just sticking up. It's making me mad. But, um, my class is like three hours long. So, this going to be something. I wonder if it's like actually three hours or if it's just like, we usually get out earlier. But I should have. I have my first class ready to go, but I gotta find an email for my next class for the Zoom link. Um, Y'all, I don't know if I mentioned this. Why do I have nine assignments? Nine assignments due for this week. Like, that's great. Okay, so it's her, but the link not in this one. I might have to go to Kiwi's. Mm -hmm. being late for a virtual class would be crazy all right y'all so i found it it was on canvas but um i'm in the class i'm seeing the same people so i'm wondering if all of our lectures are going to be like our whole well, graduating everyone thanks for making all it. right we started oh, it was one o'clock but yeah i'm wondering if like I think our classes are going to be like in the big lecture hall so it's going to be everybody in our like graduating class having the same classes so I guess I'm going to be with the same people for the most part. Now that I think about when I was registered for classes, most of the classes it was only like one option so I guess it's going to be everywhere, everybody. Or it was a couple classes that had two different time periods but other than that it was mostly everybody. 
So yeah, but she said she just gonna wait a little minute before we get started. Let me see what class, health and illnesses concepts one. And y'all, this is a three hour class. My attention span is so bad. <laughs> I get distracted so easily. But hopefully, I can get it together. But all right, y'all, I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute. Uh, 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 uh. Hello. 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 I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue. Bitch, you just want to send me automatic with a drum. Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, that just begun. Nah, I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. Are you dumb? Uh -uh. Other man, I don't know no other man. You fuck like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands. What? I don't even got me a hundred bands. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. <laughs> Give me that song. Just finished notes. I have like four or six pages of notes. Now we're working on a case study. So you know how a nursing is. It's one of those like scenario based things. We have to answer some questions about it. <laughs> so yeah. She said we would be working together, but most of it is opinion-based, so we can just work on our own. I need to, um, I had Microsoft Word because of my computer, but it, like, expired. But apparently, my school is free with our school, so I need to figure out how do I um, upgrade my subscription with them. But I'm going to just have to... Let's go go dots. Okay, y'all, let me just read this scenario. So, Jean is an 88 year old widow with four grown sons and numerous grandchildren. She was living alone, caring for her own home for the past 35 years since her husband died. At home, Jean could make meals, take care of her hygiene, pay bills, and use the bathroom at her home. She enjoyed being at home and continues to take care of herself in her home. One day, she developed mild abdominal pain. She thought it was related to something she ate, but it persisted, so she decided to go to her family doctor. She was not concerned about the cost of seeing her doctor, as she has excellent health coverage. Um, Jean was taken to the clinic and underwent lab tests and a CT scan, for which her doctor concluded she had ovarian cancer. Like, dang, I'm reading this like, they just took it to the... The max. Um, since the treatment would not provide a cure, she opted to let her cancer take its course. The clinic nurse told Jean to call if she needed anything. Jean was a strong, independent woman, as she has been, as she had to be after being a widow at such a young age, but now she's facing an unexpected diagnosis of cancer. Okay, Jean going through it. Let me pull this up. I noticed that nursing, like, it's a whole lot of scenario-based questions and things to consider. I kind of like that, though. Because I can just, I don't know. When I read stuff, like, I just imagine a certain person in my head, what they look like. You know, that type of thing. All right, but let me get, let me, let me get back to these questions. for the day we got done about three o'clock so 50 minutes early i'm guessing it kind of depends on what unit we're doing 
if we're gonna get done fast or not or get out of class early or not but yeah we just did a um we had like a little case study thing to do we had some questions to answer we turned that in and then we had like a post test um just a short little quiz on what we talked about in class it was only 10 questions we did that and now we're done for the day so um i'm guessing a lot of our classes so far they seem like a lot of things we're gonna be doing is gonna be like in class kind of homework the most majority of things we're gonna be doing outside of class are probably gonna be studying for exams so yeah I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say. I don't think so. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for coming along with me for my first day. It was supposed to be in person, but one of our rooms, like, flooded or whatever. So, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to make, like, weekly vlogs. So, I'm just going to, like, record the rest of the week. Um, I'm going to be in person Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to be on person for clinicals and then Friday, um, hit or miss. It depends on if they find a room for us, but, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.